Hi everyone, George here, and today is a very exciting day because we're aquascaping. So every day, the aquascape's exciting. This is one of the bigger tanks I've done, an aquascaper 1800 by Evolution Aqua. Uh, loads to do still, we're still fitting the equipment. So we've got three Kessel A360 WE tuner satellites on the Evolution Aqua lighting hanging kit. The tank itself, the Aquascaper 1800, 19mm super low iron glass, minimum silicon work, beautiful piece of equipment. And then we've got a custom cabinet, the doors have been removed so we've got easy access to do all the filtration, the electrics, etc. Fitted the filter pipe work, we've got the CA2 inline diffuser down here ready for our CA2 kit, pressurised CA2, 10 kilo bottle. That's £22 if uh, you're one of my American friends. Uh, we fitted the glass pipework sets, the Aquascaper glass pipework sets from Evolution Aqua. So we've got a set here at the back left, a set here at the front right, and then the idea is we create a nice gyre effect, so a nice kind of circulation pattern. So the filters themselves, they are rated at about 14, between 12 and 1400 litres per hour, I think. So we've got two of those. So we're looking at about five times turnover, which is a minimum I would suggest for, for a sort of high tech planted tank. And then they've got built in heaters as well. And they've also got a really cool uh, quick release pre filter. So we can clean that every week and it's just going to maintain good flow rates and it stops too much waste, like physical debris, getting into the biological media. So we don't need to clean that out anywhere near as much. So that is the equipment fitted. Tidied up all the cables, We've got the three Kessels all working, all plugged into the Kessel spectral controller. Got all the filtration fitted. Big filter this end, big filter that end, gonna create really good levels of circulation. Got the CA2 kit fitted, all the cables super tidy. Cabinet doors fitted, ready to scape. Exciting. Yes. Here we have the mini landscape rock, a few hundred kilos worth and uh, most of it's from Aqua Depot, but also want to shout out to Dave Pierce from Aquarium Gardens for the helping us out with these huge stones as well, which we'll probably use most of them, if not all of them, in the scape. So always better to have too much hardscape than not enough, and it gives you options. The hardscape is the backbone of the layout, and it's really worth taking your time, you know, making it look as strong as possible. So, really excited to get going. I'll do a time lapse of the hardscaping process. You can see the cardboard uh, underneath, so we're gonna, you know, if we have to put the stone down on the floor, just make sure we don't damage this beautiful flooring.
Okay everyone, uh, that's it. Really happy with the Aquascape, classic Iwagumi, minimalist style. Done a couple of these now. And I've got to thank Steve Rhodes so much for helping me all day with the scaping. Uh, thanks to Ryan from Aqua Depot for helping out as well. And also to Dave from Aquarium Gardens for supplying us with the huge um, bits of mini landscape rock as well. I've learned a lot today. Uh, don't be content with your first instinct when you look at a hardscape, you know, give it some thought, bounce ideas off other people. Um, you know, you might not see something that other, anyone else has seen, so be open to feedback from other people. Just a really simple plant layout, it, does, it will need a lot of maintenance in the first few weeks to help prevent algae. Uh, if I go back to my old kind of lesson of uh, an aquarium is always uh, a battle between algae and plants. The more plants you have, the faster they're growing, the less algae you get. Well, we've actually got quite a low biomass in here. There's over 100 pots worth, but because of the nature of, they're not far, particularly fast growing. We've got lots of hardscape, lots of open substrate, so lots of frequent water changes in the first few weeks, which Steve is in charge of. He's, he's gonna be the maintenance guy. Um, but I think in a couple of months time, this is gonna look absolutely epic. The water's gonna be crystal clear. It's a little bit cloudy right now, um, but that lawn is gonna fill in nice and lush in the background. We're going to get some algae crew in there, maybe some near right snails to keep the rocks clean, some amano shrimp as well to, to keep the gravel and the plants clean, and some display fish. Now, my personal choice, well, I'm not going to tell you what, what we're potentially going to put in there. Why don't you let me know in the comments what would you like to see in here, what fish? Okay, guys, I'm going to go now. You take care. Keep on scaping. Cheerio. Boom.